Okay, today we're going to talk about real world multiplication and division problems. So, for example, Megan can buy six boxes of chips for two dollars and twenty-two cents. Eight boxes for three dollars and seventy-six cents, or five boxes for three dollars. Okay, and the question is, which is the least expensive for one box of chips? So we are going to have to do three separate division problems. Okay, so our first one will be, what is $2.22 divided by 6? Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this with $2.22 inside the box and our 6 on the outside. Okay, so I can, because I'm dividing a decimal by a whole number, I can bring my decimal to the top. Okay, and now we can divide like normal. 6 will not go into 2, so we move on and 6 will go into 22 3 times, 3 times 6 is 18, okay, now we subtract 22 minus 18 is 4, we bring down our 2, 6 will go into 42 7 times, okay, so our first offer means that one box equals 37 cents. Okay, now we need to see about the other offers. Our next problem will be $3.76 divided by 8 boxes. Okay, I'm going to rewrite this with 3 dollars and seventy six cents inside our eight on the outside and bring my decimal to the top okay eight will go into thirty seven four times four times eight is thirty two thirty seven minus thirty two is five bring down our six eight will go into fifty six seven times Okay, so per box would be 47 cents for this offer. Okay, we have one more offer to check. Okay, and that would be $3.76 for five boxes. Okay, so if I rewrite this, three dollars goes inside, my five on the outside. Okay, five will not go into three, so five will go into thirty six times. Six times five is thirty. We subtract and get zero. Bring down our last zero. Five will go into zero zero times and we are finished. Okay, so one box would be 60 cents. Okay, so now the question was which offers the least expensive unit price, so which is the least expensive for one box? And the answer would be the first option because one box is only 37 cents. 